Hi, my darlings. How are you? This is going to be for my Virgos. And this is just going to be a little midweek check-in for you. I will be using my Art of Adventure Tarot deck. And I'm not clarifying. And I would like to welcome all my newcomers and everyone who stops by here, who makes comments. For all you guys, I thank you so very much. I am so grateful. I hope by the time you finish listening to something that I say, I hope you feel a little bit more peace. I hope you, hope you feel a little bit more open to trusting yourself, to loving yourself and to healing. It is possible. If I can do it, so can you. I've shared a little bit about my life here. You know, in some of my videos, you can go back and you can look at them. But I will never tell you it's possible without having been through it. And I love you. So Virgo, this message is for you. The Wheel of Fortune, you got karmic good luck on your side. Let's see, let's see, oh my goodness, yes you do. You are the magician, wow. There is a change coming, darling, believe me. Not because it says death is bad, okay? It just means the end of a cycle and the beginning of something new for you, All right? So don't you get worried about this. There is an ending and a beginning. There is an end of something. There's a renewal. Not too long ago, you did some self-evaluation. You went within and you started forgiving yourself. You started forgiving others. You started dropping the guilt. You figured out, you know, it's no need for me to carry this heavy load. It's not, not let me get rid of it. Every day I'm gonna choose to be happy. The Hierophant, maybe a marriage, maybe some kind of commitment. It could be something binding, though, whatever it is. It could be a contract, even. And the Ace of Swords, you're going to have communication or clarity. Whichever one you're waiting on, you will have, darlings. And this is the Tower. You're going to feel a little chaos and confusion. Um... Sometimes when there's a change and there's an end of something, sometimes it shakes you up a little bit. But that doesn't mean it's the end of the world, okay? It's part of life. We have the dips and we have the highs. When we get them dips, just don't stay in the dip. Just sit back. Let the moment pass. Breathe. Try to stay calm. I know it sounds like it's easier said than done. But darling, it is possible. Remember, this is about possibilities. There ain't no more probabilities, my loves. So, there's going to be a tower moment, but it's not going to be nothing much, okay? It's going to bring happiness to your home life, your community. I got the four of wands. Or it might be bringing happiness to you. The Four of Cups. Thinking about something. Maybe you're relaxing. Maybe you're meditating. Whatever it is, you're in a Zen mode. You know, you're just within yourself. Good. And then the Empress. Oh my. Abundance. So, Virgo. I dare to say your changes will be good changes. And I think sometime this week you might be hearing something about it. It's just a feeling I have. I love you guys. You hear me? And I want you to start loving you. Everything about you. The traumas are no longer traumas. They made you who you are today. 
So they're no longer bad, they're good. You can look back there without crying and feeling sad. I promise you can. No, that's a promise. That you can feel that. But it's totally up to you, my loves. I love you so much. And you take care of yourselves, okay? And I'll see you soon. Bye.